Don't you think it's time we clear the air? And I mean the air in your home, your offices, and your classrooms. Stay tuned, because I'm going to tell you the easiest, cheapest way to do that. Yeah, it is time to clear the air about clearing the air in all of your indoor spaces. So now more than ever, since we're living more and more of an indoor lifestyle, it's becoming really, really important to be aware of the things that we're breathing in. Everything that we breathe in, in our homes, our offices, in our classrooms, really unfortunately can affect our health and our mental health and even our skin negatively. So because we tend to be spending more hours indoors and less outdoors getting the fresh air, sunlight, and proximity to nature that actually can benefit our overall wellness so much, we have to find ways to kind of bring nature in. The cool thing is, is that when we're bringing nature into our homes, it is actually affecting the quality of our air in such a positive way. And this isn't just me, crazy plant lady, because I'm actually not much of a plant lady. I'm not a green thumb, but it's not just my opinion that plants can clear the air. NASA has actually put a lot of time and effort and done a lot of research on what plants are the best for clearing the air of all of the toxins and chemicals that we're exposed to indoors on a daily basis. So I have gone ahead and I'm, I've written a blog post, which I'm going to link below, called Breathe Easy Baby. And I've created a summarized version of NASA's list of plants. I put in, I think, like five or six of my favorite plants that are a bit easier to care for and um, just really do a fantastic job at making the air in your home much healthier to breathe. If you want to find out the long list, you can go ahead and Google that. But um, it's really interesting to find out how effective these little parts of nature can be in ensuring that your home is devoid of all the chemicals that you just really don't need to be absorbing into your body. So what are some of those chemicals that are in the air that we're breathing constantly when we're indoors? It can be anything from VOCs, which are volatile organic compounds. Those are found in paint. They're found in cleaning supplies. They're find, found in laundry detergents, unless you're using plant-based natural stuff in your home. Um, there are a lot of lab-created synthetic chemicals in the fragrances that a lot a lot of people use, whether they're air fresheners or plug-ins or synthetic candles. If your stuff's not made with 100% essential oils, the stuff that you're breathing in is really, really not good for you. Um, there's formaldehyde in the air. There's uh, xylene and benzene from exhaust um, that comes in through our windows. There's flame retardants. All of that stuff we are constantly exposed to and breathing in. And what can those cause? anything from bronchial distress to insomnia to headaches to allergies a lot of those things are endocrine disrupt endocrine disruptors which affect your hormones a lot of them are carcinog carcinogens which affect or can lead to cancer so the best thing that we can do is to cut down on that stuff which we can't naturally do we can cut out a lot of the a lot of it by buying natural products but there's still residuals and leaving your windows open, even in the winter, a crack is so good just to get that fresh air in, but it can also bring in the benzene and the xylene. So having plants in your home that can clear that out aren't, isn't just going to give you more of like an aesthetic, good feeling and good look to your home, but it's genuinely going to make the air you breathe even better. And what's interesting is lately there's been a lot of talk about mouth breathing and mouth taping. So taping your mouth shut while you sleep to basically force you to breathe through your nose because mouth breathing can actually change the structure of your face and can lead to premature aging, which is concerning. At the same time, the thought of taping my mouth shut while I'm asleep kind of makes me feel a little, I don't know, claustrophobic. So what can we do to avoid mouth breathing naturally? Mouth breathing, breathing is usually an effect or a side effect of not being able to breathe through your nose. And typically we can't breathe through our noses because our sinuses are congested and our sinuses become congested because we're breathing in allergens and pollutants. So again, what can we do that's simple, easy, effective, and financially realistic to clear the air of those things? Plants. 
Some homes, offices, and classrooms have fantastic filtration systems, and that's great for the people who can afford them, but a lot of us can't. And a lot of building structures actually can't support those systems. So again, plans are just the easiest, most effective answer to all of this. So which plans are the best? Again, Google the NASA list because there's going to be tons, but I'm going to give you my favorites. And the top two are also the easiest to keep. I'm not a green thumb, like I said. So these two plants are basically impossible to kill. And the number one is the pothos. Pothos is very effective at filtering multiple kinds of toxins from the air. It's also basically impossible to kill. If you forget to water it, it'll wilt. It lets you know, you give it some water, it springs back to life. This particular plant came from a leaf cutting that fell off of a bigger pothos that's in my daughter's room. So I just stuck it in some dirt with water and now it's become its own little plant and they'll just keep growing and growing and growing. Um, super hardy, don't really need that much sunlight. Really, really easy to use. The second plant, which is right behind me, is the snake plant. Snake plants are kind of trending right now. That's like the cool aesthetic plant to have. They're almost impossible to kill also. You can basically ignore them, give them a little water here and there, and they just continue to like self-propagate. Another great plant, very, very effective at clearing the toxins out of your air. If you love flowering plants, one of the only flowering plants that's been shown to effectively rid the air of chemicals and toxins is the peace lily. So that one's not just pretty, but she's a hard worker too. So we like that multitasker. That's a great option for adding a little pop of color to your home. And then we've got the dwarf date palm. So palm trees in general are really effective air filtration systems, but size wise, kind of difficult to fit inside an indoor space. But this one is a smaller size, hence its name. So you can keep it in your home makes it feel like you're on vacation, even if you live in the tundra, and it's gonna clear your air. The English ivy plant is another great one. This one gets rid of formaldehyde and other VOCs from the air. It's pretty, it's hard to kill, it's a pretty sturdy plant. However, the only caveat with this plant is that it is poisonous to, to some animals. So if you have cats or dogs and their plant eaters like to nibble on the leaves of things, I would suggest maybe getting one of the other plants on the list or just keeping it way up high where your pet won't be able to reach it. Next, we've got the rubber plant. So the rubber plant is perfect if you don't get a lot of natural light in your home. And the rubber plant actually would be great for, you know, if you've got a basement room, family room, or, or an office that doesn't have windows, you, you're like in a cubicle, or you live somewhere where it is pretty dark for large portions of the year. Rubber plants, low maintenance, it's not gonna need all that natural light. Give it its little bit of water and it's gonna work really hard for you. And then last on my list, because it is a little bit more high maintenance, it does require a little bit more TLC, is the Boston Fern. It's a gorgeous plant. And the reason I wanted to add it to this list is that it's a really, really effective filtration system, particularly for xylene and benzene. So if you live in a home with an attached garage and you park your car in that garage, every time you open the door into your mudroom or your kitchen, those exhaust fumes and chemicals are coming into your home. Or if you live in a city or a high traffic area and you leave your windows open, this is the plant that you wanna have to get rid of those particular chemicals, as well as all the others from your home. So there you have it. It's a short and simple video for today, but it is so important to just understand the quality of the air in your home. We may not always be able to control everything that we eat, breathe, and absorb, but if we can cut down on some of the bad stuff by doing some very few simple, attractive, effective, and really inexpensive things to just add to the health and wellness of our home, our family, our bodies, everything, it's definitely worth doing. So hopefully we can rewire the air that you're breathing. And if you've got a plant that you love and have been using and you find that it's been helping clear the air in your home, please drop me a comment in the comment section below. And don't forget to click like, subscribe, share, hit the notification button, wherever it is, so that we can keep rewiring adulthood and the air we breathe together. See you next time. Thank you.